And so the leader of the World Championship table is still Peter Collins, who was second. England's total was quite a score to face, with the pitch already wearing a bit. Truman soon dismissed MacDonald, who was caught by Evans. But the real damage was done by Laker at one end and the other half of the famous Surrey combination, Locke, at the other. Laker now to Miller, who defied them both. Then he almost gets run out and Evans almost gets the boot. When Miller was eventually out, wickets fell like nine pins. Here's one of them, Maddox, nicely taken by Truman, off Locke. The last two wickets added nothing, and Australia followed on. The question now was, could Laker and Locke do it again? Once more, Truman gave the lead by bowling MacDonald. <laughs> Harvey was the chief obstacle in this innings, making a very fine 69. Laker, however, took six for 55, Benno being one of his victims. England by now had closed right in for the kill, and Australia were right up against it. Locked to Archer, and he is caught by Washbrook. <laughs> Laker to Mackay, and he bowls him. England wins by an innings and 42. What a triumph for Peter May and his team. Never before had England beaten Australia at Leeds, and now it's one all in the series with two to play. Who's going to get those ashes? Her 